Good morning, everyone. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Nova Scotia. A beautiful day for a boat ride, but it's going to be a little bit different of a boat ride because we're going to be taking my forerunner, Ross, here on one of these ferries. You can actually see in the background to the island of Newfoundland. It's a 16 hour fair ride. It's going to be quite the adventure. Sometimes there's icebergs. That could be, uh, that could be fun. Sometimes there's polar bears. Well, that, that's not really gonna affect the ferry ride, but um, I do in fact live full time in my Forerunner and all my worldly possessions are in my Forerunner and it is my home. And now I'm putting it on a giant hunk of steel over the ocean. I'm not, I'm not nervous at all. Look at where I get to wake up. Look at where I woke up. I get to brush my teeth right, right here. Every day. Well, while I'm here, every day. This is absolutely magical. Okay, I'm gonna finish brushing my teeth. some work, some chili, and my good friend Tim's here. It's time to go uh, run another errand and then head to the docks. All right, gotta grab some snacks. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Oh, this looks fine. Okay. Excuse, yeah, yeah. Do, do, do. For all my longtime viewers, this one's for you. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. <laughs> That's our ship. Pretty sure that's our ship. Hello. Hey how are you? Great. How are you? I'm good. You uh, yes. Is that how you say it? Not. It's not. Not Argentina. No. Okay. We made it through. Ah. Oh. Alive. So as I said this morning, it is a 16-hour ferry ride. The caveat is I don't have access to my car. I am told. So whatever I bring with me once I leave my car and I'm on the ferry, uh, that's what I have. So there's gonna be a few items I'm gonna grab, maybe some snacks. I'm assuming they have water there uh, and uh, some things to help me sleep overnight because I didn't get a cabin or anything. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be in like a recliner or maybe I just won't sleep or I don't know. Who knows? But uh, there's gonna be a couple items. Let's see, the main one being this guy, a little sleep mask and then uh, a few other things. On my camera, obviously. It's good, 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 good morning. It's good, 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 good morning. Sun's rising, the delight in. Hello, good morning. Okay. Now we wait. Internet. We are moving. We are moving. We are stopping. We are stopping. Is he on some kind of mission? What is going on? Where is he going? Is he part of the cargo? I spread my wings and let go. Something stirring in my soul. I feel it again, feel it again. Feel it again, feel it again. Now it begins, now it begins, now it begins, now 
I'm not lost, I'm just exploring. Well, at least that's what I'm telling myself. Exploring. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be a good day. We're on the boat, if it's not obvious, and uh, we're headed to Newfoundland. Sun is setting right now. I'm not out here to really shoot any sunset stuff, and I highly doubt this audio is even gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot, because I have a confession to make. That is that I know basically nothing about Newfoundland, and that I really don't do a whole lot of research when I'm driving on the road looking for photography spots regardless. Mostly just because I love to just get to spots and find things that I find. Now, granted, the East Coast has been a little bit more difficult, because it's not like I'm just gonna stumble upon some magical waterfalls, so I have had to look those up. And I do have some spots mapped out for Newfoundland, but my current plan is to be there for about six weeks. And we're gonna land at this port uh, in Argent, Argent, uh, I'm gonna get this right, Argentia, not Argentinia, Argentia. <laughs> and then we're gonna go around the whole island over the next six weeks, and then we're gonna leave from the other port that has ferries. Uh, I don't really know what to expect. I've contacted another photographer. Maybe he's gonna give you some tips, show me around a little bit. But uh, I'm really excited for the next six weeks. And honestly, I'm just excited for you guys to be here and join me along for that journey. It's just, it's just amazing. Life is just, I just like, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this. Me out here on the ocean with my car, my home, and bringing you guys along with me. So if you're liking the video, you can give it a like. But honestly, I'm just glad to see you here. And uh, I'm excited to see what we get up to in Newfoundland. So I hope you join along for that journey as well. I'm gonna get some food. And then uh, you'll probably see me next for maybe sunrise or something like that. Yeah. Ah, life is good. Later. Oh, 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 oh boy. We got a bit of a problem here. Oh. Oh. Good morning, everyone. We've made it. Well, we're not on land yet, but we've pretty much made it. I didn't sleep very great, but I'm still excited for the day, because look at this. Look at all this atmosphere. Look at these mountains. Look at this stuff, the light. Ah! Life is good. Can I say hello? Oh, of course. Oh. He loves people. Oh. Are you broken? The valley showing down below. Are you floating? Were you hoping? I've been living on the edge of somewhere I don't know. And it feels like it just might. stop here. Hello. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Okay. All right, so the plan is to drive to St. John's, which is the major city here in Newfoundland, and uh, hopefully find a shower and some Wi-Fi to upload some videos and just do that kind of thing and then figure out what we're going to do next. Like I said, didn't really have any plan. I got off the boat and I was like, okay, where do I want to go? <laughs> That's kind of how I live my life, though. Thanks for tuning in. Searching for my own soul. Hold it.
All right, we've officially made it to Newfoundland, if it's not obvious. Uh, I mean, just look at this. I'm only 10 minutes away from St. John's, the major city here in Newfoundland. And if this is any indication of what is soon to come, I am so stoked because this just looks amazing. The scenery here is really interesting. It's like a mixture of like Iceland and British Columbia and Alaska. Uh, and I've only seen just a little bit of it so far. But it's only midday, which by the way, um, I learned that Newfoundland has their own time zone. I woke up on the boat this morning, looked at my phone and was like, wait, I'm 30 minutes off of what I should be off. And then I found out that their time zone is 30 minutes ahead or behind, however you look at it. So they're an hour and a half ahead of Eastern Standard Time. Uh, yeah, legitimately was like, am I going crazy? What is happening? Anyways, I have some errands to run. I need to take a shower. I haven't changed shirts in eight days and uh, just a few other things. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump to sunset or sunrise and that's how we're gonna wrap up this episode of traversing over here, driving over to Newfoundland. And then obviously there's gonna be a ton of content that I make around here. So let's get to the next photo shoot, shall we? I don't think there's a better place here to have the sunset of this episode be right here in St. John's. I didn't really take any photos. A lot of the clouds that you may have seen in the footage didn't really show up until after the sunset. I just kind of came up here to Signal Hill, which is uh, basically this famous spot here that everyone comes in St. John's because, I mean, just look at the view. What's cool is, uh, not that you can see it here, but the view out here is uh, opposed with a view right over this hill here of the ocean. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, thank you for watching. If this is any indication of what is to come here in Newfoundland, it's just gonna be absolutely insane. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe down below. And if you're not, maybe just like the video. I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one. It's gotta be a rainbow out there somewhere. We just gotta go find it. Later.